Evening, I'm CJ Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. A senior project expo at Cal Poly unveiled a number of innovations, including a portable carbon monoxide sensor. A sensor. It was invented to honor the passing of a Cal Poly graduate. And News Channel reporter Jared Zinn joins us live from campus. And Jared, the senior project included a prototype. Good evening, Beth and CJ. That's right. A, a legacy foundation was established after the passing of a Cal Poly graduate and his girlfriend, and the foundation has funded a senior design project in their honor. Cal Poly computer science graduate Johnny Heathco and his girlfriend Abby Lutz were vacationing at a five-star resort in Mexico during the summer of 2023 and passed away from carbon monoxide poisoning. My son and his girlfriend had a suite. They had carbon monoxide alarms, but they turned them off because they were beeping and they were annoying the guests. After establishing the John Wesley Heathco Legacy Foundation, Johnny's parents approached the university and adjunct Cal Poly professor Dennis McKell in turn approached his students, adding the request to the roster of possible senior projects. We selected our team, uh, we gathered and then chose our project based on what the team was interested in. Four students who now call themselves the Carbon Canaries stepped up and they formally unveiled their new portable carbon monoxide detector here at the expo. That originally was derived from canaries that they would send into the coal mine to make sure there was no carbon monoxide. Uh, you know, if the canary didn't come back, then the mine was, was dangerous uh, and they would stop mining operations. The device is designed to attach to travel beverage tumblers and emit an alarm when unhealthy CO levels are detected. There are probably millions of people walking around right now being slowly poisoned that may be working in an office eight hours a day that has a very low leak, no alarm. They have no idea other than maybe going home with a headache. Johnny's father and co-creator of the Legacy Foundation says the device is currently in the midst of a patent process, but the prototype was displayed at the Campus Expo on Friday. The foundation also supports the Safe Stay Act congressional legislation. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm News Channel reporter Jared Zinn.